right? So we've got the level of doing things, tangible level, but then above that, there's the there is the emotional level. And that's the world of Yitzira, the world of formation. And in this spiritual world, that, that is the world of angels. And according to according to uh, the czar, basically, that the, the, the worlds mirror each other, right? So when we talk about the physical world, there is a mirroring of the physical world, which is completely like way great, way vaster and freer than our physical world, but, but it parallels it. Right. And the parallel world of the world of Asiya, the world of Yetzira, which is basically it's there's form over there, but that form is very much not stuck to that density, which we're used to in this form that we're in in the world of, of Asiya, where where we are, um, where we are, we could say condensed, right, limited by the body limited by the perception of self there's that limitation but in the world of yetzira which is actually also called the lower paradise because that's a world which exists right now there's a there's a realm currently which is paradise it's just not something that we see but it, it is a reality which is there and in that space there is there is also a world, right? But is way spirit, way more spiritual. And it would, you know, in, in any movie that you've ever seen, which is, you know, you know, Star Trek or anything which is like, you know, sci-fi, which which takes, you know, so obviously we cannot compare it at all. But like if if we if we would be able to put it in some context in our minds. You know, it is a world which is not limited by time and space. It is a world which is spiritual. It's a world where the souls have also the same. We also carry forth uh, a certain image of our spiritual selves, but that's also connected to our physical um, selves on some level, right? And on the highest level, basically. And there in that world, there is the learning and there is the, 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 the basking in, you know, in, in, in the goodness, right, of, of, of the creator, which souls have. And, and once again, that's called the lower paradise because there's a higher paradise, which we'll get to um, eventually. Um, but it, on the Kabbalistic level or on the world level, right? It corresponds to the emotional realm of the creator of God in the four letter name of Hashem, the Yud and the He and then the Vav and then the He. So then the, once again, the lowest He corresponds to the world of Asiya. And then the letter Vav, which is the seat of the six emotions, which are the emotions that start off with chesed, gvura, tiferet, right? Uh, Netzah, hod, and yesod. Those are generally the six spherot, which are uh, which correspond to the uh, emotions. Whereas malchut is really all encompassing, which is really that lower letter A. Uh, that's where those emotions are really. Uh, shine forth within that world. Uh, Michelle? Um, you mentioned a lower paradise where there's no limitation by time and place. Mm -hmm. is, is that where souls go when they leave the body? Yes. And what takes place there? Well, it's the realm of it's vast, it's vaster than we can ever imagine, right? Because when we think about our physical world, okay, we would all agree that the world is we call it a small place, but it is a pretty big place, right? 
the physical, our, our planet. But when we look beyond our planet, there's the whole Milky Way. That's also part of our of the physical world and the realm of Asiya, right? And the stars, the galaxies, that's still within the spiritual, right? Realm of, of the world of Asiya. So the so the 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 spiritual world of Yitzirah is way vaster than that, and it and it surrounds it. So within that world, there are there's basically endless um, realms for all types of souls, and for all types of um, uh, experiences that that those souls has are are those experiences designed to promote soul growth like our experiences here so in that realm or in or in paradise we are we're, we we bask in what we've done in this world in other words we don't understand the amount of love that really exists that the amount of love that really god loves us and it's not a cliche right it, it, because people that have had near-death experiences all say the same thing right they all say that they 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 felt this realm of just love of the creator and it is just the the most the most powerful thing possible right and that you know that some souls that had this this near death kind of experience they, they didn't even want to leave that that feeling right, right? until the, until they said something. until until they were told but that they have to come back they have to they have to they have more to do in this world okay so hold on the amount oh, go ahead. of what we no, go do ahead. in this the amount of what we do in this world although may seem small or trivial and and obviously the our trials and tribulations, the ch- challenges that we go through and what we learn, what we experience and the, the good that comes out of it, right? And we're taking away the judgmental part, which really says like, what are you? Like, what did you ever do? Like, you're like, right? Because right. we compare ourselves, we compare ourselves to everyone else. But if we would, but if we don't compare ourselves to anyone else, we just compare ourselves to, our own potential god right right that, that really loves that uh, loves us and accept that then we're tapping a little bit into that realm of of the of paradise so we have the ability to tap into paradise in this world if we allow that realm of paradise inside of us right and the great the great uh sages the great rabbis say, say in the talmud that they used to bless each other that may you experience your paradise in this life, in this world as well. Because if we could- That answers my- Say that again? That kind of answers my question. My question was gonna be like, is physical death a prerequisite to ascend to the next realm? Or can you in your dot and consciousness actually live that in this physical form in Asiya? Exactly. So this is really tapping into our emotional state because if we can if if we can wire our emotions, right? Or and unwire our emotions from all, you know, from all of the uh from, from all of the trappings that it has, right? And and what it has carried on right from from this lifetime from previous lifetimes etc obviously that we don't have that much of a, of a of a say right but in this lifetime is really where we have the say and, and if we're able to make that distinction and really really work on that then we're really tapping into another realm we're allowing another realm so i'm going into this these spiritual realms as we're talking about emotions you say you may ask like what does this have to do with emotions this is like very like kabbalistic and spiritual no it has a lot to do with emotions because when we're able to have that sense of control self-control 
um, allowing, then we're tapping into that world of Yetzira in this lifetime. And we're allowing something which is way vaster than us. So in the words of Rabbi Chaim Vital, a great student of the Arizal, he says, we came down into this world. The, the, the sole purpose that we came down into this world is to work on our emotions. To get a grasp on our emotions. Mm -hmm.